What's up, everyone? It's Tim here back with TestDemi.com, test automation for beginners. And for today's video, we're going to look at what's called the range function. All right, let's jump into it, baby. Let's go, go, go. Yes, sir. All right, let's kind of get into this. All right. So for today's call, what we're going to do is like we've always been doing. Hope you guys are used to this by now. We're going to jump right into presentation mode. So the range function is a function that you use uh, in conjunction a lot of times with for loops, which you just saw in the previous video. But I want to show you something uh, real cool about this range function. All the range function pretty much is, is, uh, is, uh, is pretty much a list in disguise. It's like a list hitting. Right, it's a range function. We get a chance Google Python range function for Python 3. Read up more about it. It's a it's a built-in function. Remember we talked about we have built-in functions. We're going to talk about functions we can create our own uh, later. But for now, it's a built-in function type uh, within Python. So you can do uh, and you just go ahead and put a range. You want to put the start. So we can say one, and we can say one through seven, right? And what you want to do is let's go ahead and assign this a key. Uh, uh, go ahead and assign this a variable. Let's say um uh we'll just call this list list one just that's our variable okay and what i want you to do here go ahead and if you check this out if we go ahead and now print list one you're going to see what how cool this is the list function is actually excuse me the range function is actually a list in disguise <laughs> look at that that's pretty cool huh look at that so it's really a list remember to see the, the, the uh, open square bracket and the close bracket and what do you notice it prints the range one through six so this is pretty much the range so i can say let's let's actually do this this is the range function when printed out it is a list so it's pretty much a list all right so let's go ahead and print this out again there you go this is the range function when printed out. It is a list. And look at that. And it prints uh, the items one through six. Although, if you notice within the range function, um, when we uh, actually uh, we're actually in this, uh, actually defining these uh, the, the the parts of this actual expression, you notice we went up to seven. So what it does is start from the first starting point or the index you give it, but it stops right the at the integer right before the stop point so it goes it prints everything up to seven so when you say seven it's, it's going to print one through six if you really want a seven you have to go up to eight then it's actually going to print up to seven right so that was my fault i should have said that so just i want you to keep that in mind as we actually go through uh some uh some parts other parts of this video so let's go ahead and uh make a little demarcation here and let's go ahead and use the, the uh, for loop here we're going to say for I, I a lot of times stands for integer. A lot of programmers, if you're looking at their code, it's going to say I as a temporary keyword. Remember, we talked about that in the last video. So you're going to see a lot of people say I, which is going to call, uh, we're going to call ours int, right? Uh, let's not use int. Let's use, uh, let's just use, uh, let's use number. Number. Let's use uh, for number in range. Notice I'm going to use range. Remember the range, keep in mind, range is a list, remember? So just look at, you can imagine this as a list. So we'll say, um one through uh 101 so that's going to print up to 100 and again keep in mind you can just imagine this as uh, a list you know that looks something like this that is a list um that is for example if i say uh let's say let's say let's call this l and i just define it a list and i say one two three four uh, sorry three four and so forth right five and okay let's just say one through five and we say come here so you can just imagine and this l will you know it's a variable you can just imagine it's actually actually forget that this right that's really what's going on here we look at the range so let's just go back so for number in range um one through 101 uh what you want to do is just print print number right and remember like we talked about last time the first time around this is going to be number one it's going to print one second time around number two all the way to 100 because we're going up to the range 101 because we want to get to 100. all right so if i go ahead and print this you're going to see what's going to happen um all oh, right sorry don't do what i did don't forget your colon at the end right when you do your colon it helps you indent all right uh so it helps you indent so let's go ahead and do that uh and there you go see it printed it from the number one number one here all the way to 100 so that's how you print one to 100 in python very fast as opposed to doing uh you know as opposed to doing your own thing okay i'm going too fast as opposed to doing your own thing you're saying 
you know, print one, print two. <laughs> you imagine how tedious that is, and that's why that, that's why coding and programming is so powerful. So as opposed to doing that one at a time, you can just put that in a for loop and use two lines of code as opposed to 100 lines of code. Uh, one more thing you can do, same thing, you can do like print uh, print number uh, in range. And uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's just make this, let's make this three just so it doesn't uh, d distract us. Uh, we'll say, let's go ahead and put our range, put our colon here. And let's just say, we're going to do one through... Uh, let's do one on one again, one through a hundred, and we're gonna say print. I'm print. I printed this a uh, hundred times. Uh, hundred, hundred times. All right, and there you go. I printed this hundred times, and it should go ahead and print it out. And you can see that I printed it a hundred times. See that? So that's pretty much it for range. Uh, I want you to go ahead and practice with the range function. Write a program, uh, read up on it on the uh, Python's uh, uh, documentation online. And uh, like uh, we always say in every video, practice, practice, practice. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button right here on YouTube. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And also, uh, please don't forget, check out testdemi.com if you don't have any, any family, friends, or loved ones looking for jobs or just trying to get into the industry. Have a free tutorial on how to get in software testing with no experience. But you have to go to testdemi.com and check it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Much, much love. Peace. We out. All right? Holla.